Now that we understand three components of every trade, which is entry, stop loss and target, let's move to different positions we can have in the market. Whenever we are taking a trade, there can be only two kinds of positions. One is called as long and the other one is called as short. In simpler terms, a position means are you buying first or are you selling first? If an investor expects upward price movement, the sentiment is said to be bullish. So the question is, how do I profit from this expected upward price move? If investor expect downward price movement, the sentiment is said to be bearish. But how do I profit from this expected downward price move? Let's start with an example of bullish sentiment. Bullish basically means I'm expecting prices to move up. So let's imagine a stock is trading at 100 rupees as of now and I'm expecting the prices to move up to 120. Because I'm expecting prices to move up, the logical action would be to buy it at 100 rupees so that once the prices they move up, I can sell it at an expensive price and make some money out of it. Therefore, if as per our sentiment, if the prices they start moving upward, we will be in profit on this position. Once it reaches our planned exit, which was 120, we can exit that position by selling it. Therefore, whenever we buy first and sell it later, this kind of a position is called as a long position, right? To make it simplified, long means a position that is bought first and sold later. Let's take the same example again. I have a bullish sentiment, which means I'm expecting prices to move up from 100 rupees to 120. Our sentiment is bullish, we buy it at 100, but prices, they start going in the opposite direction of our expectation. Once prices reaches our planned loss, which is 95, we will be exiting that position again by selling it, which is called as your stop loss. Therefore, we bought it first, but this time we sold it later, but in loss. But irrespective, whether you're selling in profit or you're selling in loss, whenever you buy first and sell later, this kind of a position is called as a long position. Now let's take the opposite case. Let's imagine I have bearish sentiment. Bearish sentiment means uh, basically I'm expecting prices to move down. So let's assume the current market price is 100 and I'm expecting prices to move down. So how do I profit from this expected downward price move? The way to do that is I can sell it first at an expensive price, which is 100. And later when it goes down to 80, I can buy it at a cheaper price. So if as per our sentiment, price starts moving downwards, we will be making money on this position. Once prices, they reach our planned target, which was 80, we can exit that position by buying it, which is called as your target. Now, if you look at short, what we did in a short position is we sold first and bought it later. Therefore, a position that is sold first and bought later is called as a short position. Our sentiment was bearish. That is the reason we sold it at 100 first. But let's assume that the prices, they start going in the opposite direction of our expectation. In case it starts going against, we will be having a planned stop loss. Let's assume in this case, it was 105. So once prices, they reach 105, I can again buy it at an expensive price, thereby taking a loss of five rupees, but closing my position. Therefore, when you're selling first and buying later, irrespective of whether it is profit or loss, such kind of a position is called as a short position. Now you might be wondering, how can we sell something which we don't own as of now? Let's take an example to understand this. So Aman goes to Rahul who has a mobile store and is looking for a specific model. Let's assume Rahul does not have that model in his stock. What Rahul does is he asks Aman to wait and Rahul goes to Sumit who again has a mobile store just few shops down the line. Fortunately, Sumit has that handset with him. So Rahul borrows that handset. He comes back to his store and sells that same handset to Aman. Therefore, what Rahul did was he sold first. The way he sold first was by borrowing it from Sumit, which means Rahul is short of one phone which he has to return to Sumit. Once this transaction is complete, Rahul who is now short of one phone goes to his distributor and buys that phone from his distributor. And after buying that phone, he comes back and returns the phone to Sumit. Right? Which means Rahul, he sold first by borrowing it from Sumit and later he returned the phone by buying it from his distributor. So this is how short basically works, which means Rahul no longer has the liability to return the phone to Sumit. He sold first by borrowing it and bought it later and returned it to Sumit. Similarly, in a stock market, whenever you're taking a short position, what basically happens is that you are borrowing the shares from your broker. And because you're borrowing these shares from your broker, at the end of the day, when you buy these shares back, these shares go back to your broker. So now we understand that in a stock market, there can only be two kinds of positions. One is called as long. Long basically means you're buying first and selling later. And short means you're selling first and buying later. Now, if I say I want to buy ABC stock, the confusion is, am I talking about the first buy or am I talking about the second buy? Similarly, if I say I want to sell XYZ stock, am I talking about this sell or am I talking about the other sell? 
So to overcome this confusion, certain market terminologies are used. Whenever you're taking a long position, the entry is always called as buy and the exit is always called as sell. But whenever you're taking a short position, it is not just called as sell, it is called as sell short and the exit is called as buy to cover. Few things you have to remember is that a short position in the Indian stock market cannot be kept overnight because you have the liability to return it to your broker. All stocks are not shortable. You can always ask your broker for the list of stocks which he will allow you to go short on. Uh, another thing which people generally say is that shorting is dangerous. Let's assume I short a stock at 100 rupees. If the stock goes to zero, the maximum profit I can make is 100 rupees on that stock. But in case the stock starts moving up, it can go to any price, which means I have unlimited risk for limited profit. This is the reason why people say that shorting is very, very dangerous. But as long as you're using a stop loss, you don't have to worry about it because you're limiting your risk by having a stop loss order in the system. So by using a stop loss, we can control that unlimited risk characteristic of a short position. And that is the reason we don't have to be scared of shots.